Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will show you how to trigger an external antenna tuner with just one button, like the one that you're seeing here on the screen. Uh, this, is, they will, this will also work uh, to check the SWR after using an internal antenna tuner in your radio. So let's jump right into uh, what uh, you need to do to make this work. So first of all, you need uh, um, you need a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack and um, and uh, sorry stereo plug and what you need to to connect is to the tip of the plug and to the sleeve which is this part you need to connect um, a switch any switch as you can see here this is a micro switch. Those are the, the, the red the red and white are the um, cables that I use to solder the um, the switch to the plug and I glue with the hot glue the um, the, pl the switch into the plug so it's, it's one piece is is one unit so um, it's uh, it's it's very very uh, simple to make and that will allow you to uh, tune your external tuner like um, this one here, I'm gonna show you. If you have something like this, like this tuner, and um, you want to tune automatically and you don't have the cable uh, to connect to the radio, then you can use uh, a solution like this. Uh, and also, when you press the button and you use the internal tuner, that will allow you to, um, to, to test the SWR before you uh, transmit uh, in your in the mode that whatever you want to transmit. Okay, now we we have the radio on the screen. I'm gonna plug the part into the radio. The the part that goes here and it goes into the key um, jack for CW. I will plug it in here. Uh, also, if you don't have a part like that, but you do have a CW key, you can use the your CW key to do this uh, this um, for the, for the same purpose. So let me move the radio a little bit. Let me fix that. Now this is in, and we're gonna see how this uh, works. So uh, and now we're gonna start um, setting up the radio. To each band it has a stack of uh, of three settings. So every time you press the um, the, the the band button that you you want to press. So for example, uh, I am in the first of the stack 14182. If I press 14 again, there is another setting in there for that band. And if I press band again, you see it, it goes to another frequency. It's another. Uh, um, uh, set for this band, and if I press the the, the 20 um, meter band again, you see we go back to the first one I was. So each each time that you press the band setting, um, it, it, it goes to or it has a stack of three possible settings uh, for for each band. So um, the reason I'm, I'm explaining this is because it, uh, the changes I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it in, in one of those um, stacks. And then what, what happened is uh, if you go back and you don't use the same one, you will think that it's not working anymore, but this because uh, maybe you are in a different um, um, setting for that, that, this, that band. All right, so, so now that uh, we clarified um, how the band stack works, if I press the button now, the ra radio is not doing anything, right? It's not doing anything if when I press the button. So what you need to do to use this button, or what, what is the purpose of using this button, is to put the radio in transmission mode and uh, put the radio in a low power setting. Right now, in, I am in 100 watts in, in USB, as you can see here. And the idea is uh, to put uh, to turn on the, the break-in on, um, on this setting and, and, and lower the, the power to a minimum uh, that is needed for your, your external tuner uh, to, 
to start the tuning cycle. Or uh, if you want to measure SWR, of course, you, you don't want to measure with the, such a high power. Uh, probably 20 watts will be enough to measure uh, SWR, especially if, if, if it's, uh, the antenna is not tuned properly. So if I turn it on here, you can you can see I turn it on. I am still in 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 in, um, in USB. I press the button, and it's not transmitting. It's not doing anything because this is the wrong place to turn it on. It doesn't do anything when you turn breaking in um, in uh, USB uh, mode. So what you have to do is um, you have to go uh, switch the mode to you have to switch the mode to um, CW. And once you're in CW, you see I have to set the power already to 20 watts. So you have to lower the power to 20 watts or whatever power you want. It could be 20 watts or less. And it is important in here, you, you, you turn break in, in here now. So, and you, you can now go back to USB. So now, for all this to work, there are um, two important settings that needs to be adjusted in the menu of the radio. So if I click menu, the first option is uh, the option 055. It needs to be set to on. This is CW auto mode. And the other option is um, option number 059, uh, direct, direct frequency. CD, CW frequency display, direct frequency. Uh, what those two options do is, um, uh, this one, the last one, um, allows that uh, when you press the button, the frequency no no changing, is keeping keeping the VFOs in the same frequency and not adjusting by the, um, uh, by the tone uh, offset of CW. And the 055, what it does is allow you to switch automatically to CW mode when you key um, the, the radio with the uh, key that we just uh, built and connected uh, to the radio. If I press the button, you see the radio goes into, into transmission mode. I'm transmitting with 20 watts automatically uh, the modes switch to, C, uh, to CW USB and I can see I have a 1.1 SWR in this frequency. So what I'm going to do is now is to show you um, when um, you use the internal tuner, how you can use uh, this button to see what is the setting um, that the internal tuner uh, uh, is working on and it left the SWR. All right, how, how are we gonna test this? I'm gonna move the frequency to the extreme of the band, which I know my antenna is not uh, properly uh, tuned. So in here, I probably will have a high SWR. So l let's do a check. You see, I'm just checking with 20 watts and I have close to uh, 2.5 SWR in there. And of course, you, you don't want to put 100 watts in there uh, when you're testing this. And I'm just doing this just to um, just to show you. But when I, even when I'm when I'm pressing the the red button here, I'm just sending uh, 20 watts, as you can see there on the on the RF power button. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run the the tuning cycle. So when, now the, 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 auto, the tuner, internal auto tuner, it runs. Uh, um, the only way that I have to see how good it was the, the tuning process and how much SWR I have now is to go through, through the menu and to press uh, mode, to change to CW, to, to lower the power to, to 20 watts. But I don't have to do anything of this now because everything is already programmed and, and you can do that in only pressing the red button. As you can see, now from 2.5, my SWR went with the tuner to 1.2, close to 1.2, 1.25. 
So uh, this is one of the usage of the, for this um, for this trick, but the um, uh, probably the best uh, is uh, to use this with an external tuner because that um, um, will uh, this uh, button will allow you to trigger the external tuner automatic process. So let me. Um, move, uh, reposition the cameras, and then we're gonna start uh, from there. All right, so I have repositioned the camera and I'm pointing to, to the MFJ external automatic antenna tuner. It's off, uh, I, I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, so first I wanna turn on, turn, sorry, turn off the internal tuner. I wanna turn, turn it off. As you can see, I now turn off the, my internal tuner. I'm gonna try one more time to see how much SWR I have in this part of the band using the button and with only 20 watts. Close, close to, to three um, SWR, three to one SWR in this part of the band. So now I'm gonna turn on the MFJ. So now it's on, you can see his WR is green because this is the last uh, time it was used, uh, it was below 1.5. And now I'm gonna trigger the automatic uh, tuning process by, um, by pressing the, the red button here on the radio. It worked and is below two. Let's see if I can uh, do better. Okay, this is the best that this tuner does in, in this part of the band. So uh, what I've done is I... Um, I press the tune button on the uh, external on the MFJ uh, for a few seconds, and that switch the um, the automatic antenna tuner into a mode that is called sticky mode. And what it does is uh, uh, automatically um, uh, looks for, looks for the best SWR every time that you transmit. And as you can see, when I transmitted it again, it did another uh, tuning cycle. So this is the best that I can get here. Uh, le le let's try another band. All right, I switch to to 80 meters now, and let's press the um, the red button. Let's see how our tunes. There you go. 2.0 in this part uh, of the band. And of course, if I, if I move up and down, every time that I do this, it will uh, auto-tune again. So for example, if I go to 660 and I do this again, it tune automatically, as you can hear. Let's try below, try here. All right, that's pretty good. Here is uh, no, no SWR almost in this part of the band, and it went through the, the whole uh, tuning cycle. All right, that's everything. I uh, hope uh, that uh, this video is helpful to you and you can use this solution. And if you like it, uh, please, uh, please uh, press the, um, the like button. Remember to subscribe and to hit the bell so you can get notifications every time that I upload a new video to the channel. Thank you so much uh, for watching.